It's still going, right? Yeah. Okay, we're all set. I Quiet on the set. I think we're set. Quiet on the set, gentlemen. Thank you. <laughs> Just try to keep it down right. over there. We're doing a little video. Movie, movie transport. Can we get our uh, sets and props? Movie transport. Teach me grappling. Brian Peterson here. I got John Solar. We're back. Thank you guys so much. Patreon, all you supporters out there. We've got the new camera. We've got a new camera person here, Braxton. She's helping us out tonight. I think she's gonna do a better job than John Solar. I think so. John's still working on his gimbal training and I think Braxton's already got it going on. Go ahead and Braxton, move it around a little bit. Ooh, look at that, look at that, look at that. How about a little of this? A little right there. Ooh, look at that, smooth. Okay, thank you guys so much for all your contributions. Oh my gosh, I just forgot John, we didn't do the raffle. Guys, I promise the raffle is tomorrow. We will do the raffle for the month of September tomorrow. I did not prepare it. I had too much going on today. So that'll be tomorrow. Now, somebody was asking for more like uh, self-defense stuff. And I, I thought about this. I want to show you guys how to get out of, somebody mentioned this rear bear hug stuff. In the sport of wrestling, we deal with this a lot. So honestly, the martial arts has so many techniques and I'm not gonna say that they're horrible, but where the guy's hands are locked, some funky martial arts are gonna stop feed and elbow the guy. And um, you know, that's probably not gonna be very realistic. A lot of times you're gonna see techniques like this and lifting the guy's legs. Um, you know, those kind of things are great, but I'm gonna show you guys more like the wrestling style um, that I think works a lot better. So, but before I show that, I need to show you guys some drills. So the first drill is just gonna be a cutoff drill. Look at my feet. So I'm gonna stand right now with one foot in front of the other and make sure you get, get a good view up close. Um, you know, but like you wanna make sure you get the whole thing. So I'm just gonna step back. It's a simple forward drill. I'm gonna step back and turn around. Okay, and then I'm gonna do the same drill again. Step back and turn around. A lot of martial arts will do this technique. It's real common in Taekwondo. Turn and then go a back kick, um, you know, something like that. I want to turn and set back. Now, the difference is now, I'm going to move my hip out. So my hip is going to go out, and then I'm going to turn, and I'm going to get my hips back, okay? Like if you're wrestling, you want to wrestle in a stance. So I'm gonna be pretending I'm escaping from the rear bear hook and I'm gonna step back and that's called a cutoff. We call that a cutoff. So you wanna know how to do that drill. And then I'm gonna be taking my opponent's hand and I'm gonna be putting it in the back pocket. So this is basically what it looks like, no lock. Just the guys here, I hold his hand. I stick it in my back pocket, he's holding me. And I cut off, okay? Just like so. I wanna say this as well so I can help my training partner. Never put your head here, that's bad. You should always put your head on the other side, John. Because one, it gives you a better hold, and two, it saves your face from getting elbowed. If you put your head on the other side, and you try to hug me tight, first of all, you don't have a very good grip, and then two, you're gonna get elbowed. So the guy shouldn't put his head there. If he does, that's what I do, I elbow him. Even in a wrestling match, by the way, he shouldn't have his head there. Okay, so when I'm here, his head's here, I'm going hips out, hips out. I dip my shoulder, so my shoulder goes in this pocket right here. Get up close, please, Braxton. You gotta like, I'm not saying you gotta get super close, but you gotta get close. I don't wanna see the whole gym, I wanna see just this. Okay, right here. So this is the space where my shoulder goes through. So I'm here, hips go out, shoulder dips. As my shoulder dips, look over here at the hand, I'm gonna release the hand. I'm gonna let go at the last second. This is called putting it in your back pocket. And then over here, shoulder dips, I release the hand, my hand's gonna cut between the body. So if he rushes me, I end up in the over-under position here. Okay, where I have the over-under, and then I can defend myself here and start striking or, or get out or do a takedown, do a throw. So, here we go, come on over here. Okay, so when the guy's here and you have control of his hand, I want to take control. The guy's trying to, you know, take me down or whatever. I establish my base. Look at my feet. I stagger my feet with one in front of the other. Back pocket. Hips come out. And I'm dipping my shoulders so it slips in between. You don't want to stand like this 
Relax, Sean. Deep. Good. And go here. If you turn this way, like this, you try to turn around, you'll get bear hugged. Okay? You'll get bear hugged a lot of times. So it's better technique to teach. Hips out, shoulder dip, cut between, knees coming forward, and now I get into the over under, and we're here. Okay? Now, you might ask, in a real life situation, this will happen. The person will lock. Now, I'm gonna be the first to tell you, if somebody locks, you can break the lock. But when you break the lock, it can be really difficult if the guy's strong. John's a pretty strong man. You know, if, if I'm here, can you use a pump to pump? This is a, yeah. So the other thing is, depending on how they lock, there's weaknesses to each lock. But for me to try to break his lock, when he sucks my hips in, go ahead and lift me. Yeah, he lifts me, and I'm kind of up in the air. Then I've got to work on hooking his leg so I don't get lifted up in the air. But the first thing I want to do is I want to lower my level so I get my center of gravity underneath John. So I want to drop my level so that when he tries to lift, I'm heavy. If he starts to lift me, I can hook a leg. See, I can hook a leg so he can't lift me. And then meanwhile, what I'm going to do is I need to start separating his grip. I'm going to use the heel of my palm. I'm going to push at his fingers. Come get in close right here. We need to look at this area. So the heel of my palm is gonna push at these fingers. My left hand, my thumb is gonna go inside and I'm gonna be fighting here at the same hand. I don't fight both hands, try to pull them apart. I push until I break the grip. And I'm doing a lot of this with my body weight. It's very little of it is my arm strength. So when a guy holds, I'm not pushing while I'm standing on my feet. I don't know if you can see everything, Braxton. I don't know if you can see everything, you gotta be able to see everything. So I, I'm not doing this. This is never going to work. Okay, I'm lowering my level. I'm making him carry my weight. Okay, as now he's he's wasting a lot of energy. As I'm walking, I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. He breaks. Back pocket, and now he's trying to control me. Control me, John. Yeah. Now it's time. My arm comes up. My shoulder's about to dip. As I turn, okay, I escape. Okay. So these kind of drills here are something that wrestlers do countless times. As you, they're called cutoff drills. And then what wrestlers do is they're on the mat, then they stand up and they do that cutoff. Now I'm gonna tell you guys a real quick story, okay? Story time. Uh, I actually was in a, uh, a situation, it's been, man, about 13 years now. So about 13 years ago, I, I got jumped at my car, and uh, there was three guys in ski masks. It's a very long story, I'm not gonna get into all the specifics, but I got jumped. There was a, there was a getaway driver, so there's four of them total. Three dudes in ski masks jumped me at my vehicle, tried to rob me, and uh, they broke, they got in, they got into my vehicle. Anyway, a fight ensued. I started kung fu fighting. I didn't, it didn't look pretty. It didn't look like me knocking everybody out, I'll be honest, it didn't look like that. But I will say this, I wrestled everybody. So you know, one guy came, I, I, I rushed him into a car over some, some uh, bushes, pushed him down. It, it, again, it wasn't sweet, it didn't look like, like a kung fu flick, but I got him off of me, I ran out in the street, and then another guy swung a, like a stick at me. I double legged him and chucked him hot potato, I didn't want to hold him because I didn't know what he had. Another guy had a knife. So I didn't want to mess with that dude. And I didn't know what this guy had. But anyway, the last guy jumped on my back. And that brings me to the discussion here. The last guy, as I chucked a guy with a double leg, the next thing I know, as I'm chucking him and I'm trying to get away, I get grabbed from behind. Boom, the guy grabs me. I just went hand control immediately. Simple, it just came, I, I mean, I've been wrestling now for 25 years. So you can imagine 13 years ago, so I probably already had uh, you know, almost 10 years of wrestling already. So actually way more than that. I had like 12 years of wrestling at that time. Okay. So I pushed it down and I cut off. And the second I cut off, I just ran. I ran, I got to safety. And then I realized how many dudes there were. Cause at that time I didn't know how many guys there were. And I realized, all right, there's three dudes and long story, but police never caught those dudes. So if you guys are out there, I want, my, uh, I want my wallet back from, from 2005. 
They end up getting my wallet, John. Assholes. Anyway, um, so that's that story. But this was real self-defense situation. And again, I didn't knock anybody out. I didn't do no beautiful spinning back fist, which I wish I could have done that one. But uh, I wish I would have went like this. Bam! And just clobbered them. But I was, everything was self-preservation, guys. Real life. Broke the grip, cut off, and I just got away. That's all I did. But imagine if I didn't have that skill and that training. If I didn't have that skill and training of cut off, man, I mean, I might have even double legged. I might have tripped the one dude and then double legged the other. And then a guy got on my back, lifted me, put me on the ground. And then now I got three dudes beating me up. Or even worse, what if they wanted to use their stick and their knife? Again, I don't think they would have. I think they just wanted to rob me and take my stuff. But you never know, okay? So if you guys are out there, this is something that I know can help you. Okay, hand control, break the grip. He's here, he makes a lock. I don't care what lock either, switch your lock. There's a lock, like thumb, thumb, heel of my palm, here. See that? Um, use a different lock. There you go, yeah, yeah, there you go. This one's kind of difficult, you know, I'll be honest. This one's a little bit difficult. So when I'm here, I put my hand still on the same hand. I only go to one hand. That way it's a, you don't have to memorize different ways to break different locks. Here, and then what's the key? Not stand here and push, but lower my level. So when he's holding me, I drop. As I drop, I'm pushing back, getting my hips out. John's working right now, I love it. Okay. Now, he's working real hard to hold on to me. And then I found the cutoff. Now you might ask, what if the guy lets me go in the middle of the move? Like what if he brings me down? Like this could happen if you're off with your balance. You could be here fighting, 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 and then he like kind of steps back and lets me fall in the hole. Like that. That could happen. So you, you want to make sure when you do this, this particular one that I'm doing, you have a stagger stance. I don't do this one with a square stance. I'll show you on a different video how I do the square stance. But, this is a stagger stance, so I have a back leg. So if he ever tries to pull me, I have balance. And now I've got his hand, back pocket, he's trying to hold me, and then I just, oh my gosh, I don't care what this hand does. Because this one, the shoulder dip, it's gonna cut between as he pushes forward. Boom, I've got some defense here, and now I'm ready. Okay, sorry John, that's okay. Okay, now I'm ready to do my next move. Okay, cool. How long is this video going? 15 minutes, almost uh, 16. But we started way earlier, so. Okay, thank you guys so much. Uh, teach Me Grappling, thank you John, you're the man. Okay, Braxton, behind the uh, camera, doing great. Thank you so much. Please like it, share it, subscribe if you haven't subscribed, what's going on? We just hit 40,000, right around right now it's 40,000. 40,000 subscribers, I'm so excited, so proud to have all of you guys, like uh, obviously lo lo loving this channel enough that you would hit subscribe. I wanna keep giving you guys good stuff. Please help me out, there's the PayPal link, there's the Patreon link, click it, support it, and I'm gonna be, be back tomorrow. Thank you so much. <laughs>